Hello everybody. Well, I bought this Farm Max Rossi sickle bar mower. It's a seven foot mower, and uh, I'm going to show you how we assembled this thing. Now, if you've read any reviews on this thing, you know that everything they say about this book is true. This is the assembly book, and now uh, the best way to use this book is right here. No, I'm just kidding. You're actually going to need this book if you've never put one of these things together before. Now, this is not a step-by-step -step assembly book by any means. Uh, basically, here's your assembly instructions, blade assembly instructions. Then the next page, they go right to attaching it to the tractor. So, what about all the stuff in between? Well, as you go along to assemble the machine, you're going to be skipping all over in this book to find diagrams or information that pertains to the particular thing that you're trying to do. So we hope that uh, by making this video you can kind of see what they're talking about and it may help you put your machine together. Now here you can see we're uh, getting everything taken out of the crate and, and bring it over here in the driveway where we can start to assemble the machine. This machine it comes highly recommended and uh, the reviews are all excellent. It's based on uh, the Enrossi mower and according to uh, the fellow that I bought it from here in this it's an Italian made mower and here in the States uh, it goes by uh, Faraboli or Farmax but it's all the same machine. Now normally you'd get an assembly manual this thing would go step by step so that's what I've tried to do here and in uh, step one they're removing this pulley and there's a snap ring and what they call a Seeger ring and so you uh, unscrew that pulley and take it out then you got to slide the uh, support onto the frame and you fasten it with that uh, snap ring and Seeger ring and then screw the pulley back on. So this is what they call the wobble box section of this uh, machine and uh, my son is taking this pulley off just unscrews and there's a snap ring we'll, we'll take that off of there and then there's the Seeger ring now he's sliding that support onto the frame and that thing is greased so it, it slides right on pretty easy there's your Seeger ring followed by that snap ring and then you're going to screw that pulley back on. It does help to use snap ring pliers. And it's a right hand thread. Normal left loosey ready tighty. Yeah. Now you'll mount the three belts. Now it'll help here if you uh, take off two of those belts get them right out of your way and then if you start down on this end of the machine you can uh, put that belt right around okay. pretty easily. It's easy after that. This one should just slip right on, basically. Good. Ouch. Yeah. Right here is your tension adjustment for those belts. Now we'll install this fork hinge for the hydraulic cylinder. And right there is where the cylinder goes. And right there is that fork hinge that they're talking about. And I'll show you a close-up view of it. There's two pins. Right there's where, where the thing slides on, and there's the other pin that it rests up against. So that's how that goes on there. Right there's pin number one. There's the second pin. If you skip over to page 24, you'll find a diagram for this cylinder bracket that we're going to mount next. There's a the bracket. Now, I've never owned or or run a sickle bar mower before and so this is all new to me and it helps to have somebody like my son here who is acquainted with this equipment kind of understands how it works so here he is attaching that cylinder that hydraulic cylinder and he's got it on the fork hinge on the bottom now he's pulling it up and to put this pin through on that bracket up on the upper end so here we'll show you this working. He's letting the uh, sickle bar down now. And here it is 
picking up the sickle bar. And you can see there's two pins right there. And there's a second one. Okay, now we'll install that lateral deflector on the sickle bar. And there's a bolt that goes through there and a spring and washers and so on. According to, uh, on page 10 of the book there. I found this picture somewhere else in the book. So here we go, this is the uh, bolt going through and then that spring, washers and lock nut and so on. There's two bolts there. Hold that thing on. So here's just some general stuff. Here's this rod that, uh, that locks that uh, sickle bar in place if you're going to store it or I suppose go down the road with it. And you have to run a chain from the right side here up to your up to some place and hook it on and that holds that that machine from dropping below 15 inches above the ground it holds right there so that's where that chain goes and this is how we hooked up to our tractor on the outside of that one and then on the inside of this side so I guess it depends on your tractor how you're going to mount this to the three-point hitch. Now here's some interesting doodads. These are um, valves. And that, that's the valve for the down and that's the valve for the up uh, on the hydraulics. And so you, you can turn those and adjust your flow rate on the hydraulic uh, cylinder. Here's where that pin goes through. And that's how we had to hook our upper link for the three-point hitch. So I'll show you this thing running and I left the back cover off so you can see the belts. We had to adjust the tension there in the belt. And that's uh, real quiet running mower. And I was surprised on this flat spot of my yard here how, how it mowed. And that shows those fingers working. So anyway, I hope this uh, video was helpful you folks uh, putting this thing together uh, I think it's a pretty good machine but uh, man they could have done a better job with this with this instruction manual if we had to put together another one we'd probably do it in about 30 minutes or less <laughs> but uh, it took us a couple hours anyway to just figure out everything and you know, all all the different part bags and so on they just they just need someone to to handle the uh, labeling of the parts and writing an instru instruction book for in English would be helpful. Seems like the back part of the book, which was written in Italian, was the had the better illustrations in it. So I had to keep flipping back to there. So thanks for watching, everybody, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if this video was helpful for putting your more together. Bye-bye.